the monk, the whore, the goat, and the liquor. Yeah. There was once a Buddhist monk who had taken the 227 vows, including the one to not drink and to not have sexual intercourse uh, uh, and to not kill li other living beings. And he is captured and forced into choosing. Uh, to survive, he has to do one of three things. He can either kill a goat or he can sleep with a whore or he can drink a bottle of liquor and so the monk asked to sleep on it and think about it and he meditated and he thought about it and he analyzed it and then he meditated again and came back out of meditation and tried to analyze it and in the end he thought mm, if I kill the goat that's paratika I have to disrobe that's a paratika, a disrobing offence. I will have to leave the Sangha and disrobe as a monk forever. So I can't do that. And he says, uh, if I sleep with a woman, uh, then I will also be a disrobing offence and I will have to disrobe forever. But if I drink the alcohol it is an offence for which I shall have to confess but I shall not have to disrobe unless I do something else and so I think I will risk taking the alcohol and so he decided to take the alcohol and so he took the bottle of liquor and took it to his hut and drank the liquor and in the morning, the monk wakes up and he stumbles out of his hut. He feels really, really heavy-headed. And as he's walking down the hill, he sees the other monks and uh, looking at him, who were also captured there. And so he asked them, why are you looking at me so, so strangely? And... They said, he said, what's wrong? They said, don't you remember what you did? He said, no, what did I do? And so they told him, they said, well, first of all, you drank the liquor, and then you came out of your hut and started dancing around and screaming and shouting, and then you went and found the whore, and you went to her tent and you slept with her, and then you came out and started shouting again and making a big fuss and palaver and you killed the goat. <laughs> and so there you go. Uh, that's what happens with the liquor sometimes. Some people not so easily, other people more easily. But uh, this story was told to me, this fable was told to me. I have to credit it to... Uh, uh, Ringu Tulku Rinpoche Lama Ringu Tulku Rinpoche who I took teachings under in Germany and in uh, Spain after entering his lineage in Nepal before I ever came to Thailand I entered Buddhism in the Kadju lineage Akama Kadju which is a Kamapa lineage. And when I moved back to Europe, then uh, I continued teachings with this Lama, with this Rinpoche, who was one of the four Tulkus. I met one more of them, Lama Taisitu Rinpoche. These four Tulkus, are, they look after the, the Kamapa Lama. Anyway, this story came from him, from Ringo Tulku Rinpoche. If you search on Facebook, Ringu Tulku Rinpoche, you will find him. Anyway, that was his story to explain about why the precept of not taking types of intoxicants that will make oneself unskillful and perhaps perform acts which bring regret and therefore suffering mental stress 
emotional stress and karma which is the same as mental and emotional stress so, um, that was his one of his easy teachings for which even beginners can understand and so about the precept the buddhist precept of uh, Sura mira yama chapa mata thana we ramani sikha patang samati ami Which I uh, refrain from intoxicants which cause unskillfulness So, this is Ajahn Spencer for today With the podcast about the monk, the whore, the goat and the whiskey Signing off